This code uh, solves the problem when you have uh, an application and the application crashes because you want to set in Android um, a text on your application by a timer. So I will show this in my application. Now you see as soon as I try to start the application which writes, which comes to this position to write something into the application. Waiting for debugger, now it comes, drip. Now we are there. As soon as I say, uh, this is my text in the front side, this one, see text, text you, simple text you. And when I say, go on, one step more, this one, um, step into, step over. Puff, and now we are an uncaught uh, exception, Pam, and then it goes down. So, the reason for this is that we are writing from a timer, from a now in the code behind from this file, we try to write. Uh, we have a timer in here and we write to uh, we try to do something in the other file in the XML or in the output in the front pay, front side and we can not solve it by a timer so the timer will always crash when we interact with the when we interact with the out uh, the output of the file of the system this is on Android and also on uh, when you uh, program uh, Microsoft. So we take out that point and now I, I will drop it first in here. Now you see what we do. Um, we do it in a different way. We would say, mm, maybe I write it, okay. I keep this one here and say we will write this one in a handler so we t we writing this one uh, create a new handler handler maybe i encode it because coding is i take this one my code snippet in this code, we say we need a new, like it, a new handler. Handler, you see this one, and then we say post delayed. Post delayed. So this one creates um, a new, um, it posts something in a definite time. So we, this is a handler. The, a handler is always in the background of the system. This throws. Uh, this has the ability to to do something in a delay. So we say throw throw something uh, a task a runnable. So and this is called runnable in here. Throw some do something in uh, call a method in one second after one second. And this is the method. So we have the new runnable and the runnable has new runnable open. Now there comes. The runnable or the method itself and this one says okay we have a override run and there is the code and this is the same this is the same now we don't need this anymore here this is the same as we said here create a new timer make a time schedule and schedule the time and make uh, schedule it uh, after one second for each one second and then run this in a loop it's pretty the same code it looks like the same and now we're starting this one the code and then you will see that it's working Ta -da. come on now if it crashes then I will be frustrated now you see there and the reason therefore is we say create a new handler post delayed in one second in one second call this job then we say as a trick finally we have the run and after the run we say finally and now jump back to the same method 
and that's it. You will, you will find the code on my website. So this is the difference between handler and timer or why, why you should sometimes uh, move from, the, from a timer and a timer task to a handler and a runnable 